Hi everyone and welcome to the fifth and final video in this short series in collaboration with Cape Town Music Academy on how to work with your own mind as a musician. So in the preceding four videos I've spoken about some of the cognitive distortions that can take place when mind misinterprets information and leaves us with a conclusion that's skewed towards the negative. And I spoke a lot about paying attention, noticing, being mindful, being aware. So today I wanted to touch on the topic of meditation because I feel there's no better way to develop and deepen a relationship with your own mind than through the practice of meditation. And besides that, there are also other benefits like increased concentration and creativity and decreased stress. So there are lots of different types of meditation and there are lots of different teachers out there that teach meditation. So I thought what I would do is just point you in a few different directions so that you can start exploring if you're interested and then find something that works for you and start practicing. I think it's important to say at the beginning that meditation is a practice and an experience. You don't have to believe anything and you don't have to buy into anything in order to practice it. You don't have to change your religion or buy into a certain religion. It's, it's really, a, it's, it's, a, it's in the practice and the experience. Okay, so I'm going to start with apps because apps have become a great way of learning meditation in the last few years. And some of the ones that I can recommend are Waking Up with Sam Harris, 10% Happier, Headspace, and Insight Timer. If you prefer YouTube, there are several teachers on YouTube and there are also guided meditations on there. Some of the teachers I can recommend include Rupert Spira, Junpo Roshi, Mingya Rinpoche, and Eckhart Tolle. And if you prefer to read, some authors I can highly recommend are Ken Wilber, Chogyam Trungpa, Krishnamurti, and Pema Chodron. Okay, so good luck with exploring that. And I hope you find a teacher and a practice that resonates with you. And I hope you start experiencing some of the benefits of the practice. Good luck with working with those cognitive distortions as well. We're going to post a link beneath, beneath this video with a full description of cognitive distortions. Um, we spoke about four of them. There are others that can happen as well. So good luck on working with those. And thanks for listening. Thank you.